What's going on, y'all? It's Fort Worth Fabian, Big Boss Fabo, back again with the video for you guys today, man. Um, back with active self protection reactions. Um, you know, active self protection, the active self protection channel. You can go check it out. Active self protection, basically guiding us, advising us. You know, um, bringing us in on self awareness tactics that could possibly help save us or help, you know, save our lives in the future or help us um educate ourselves or keep us in the know on things to do in the future if we're ever faced with similar situations man let me know your thoughts on these videos in the comment section below definitely had someone comment on the appreciation of videos like this because they only bring awareness right um so like comment subscribe hit the notification bell you can follow me on instagram and twitter at fort worth Fabian, man we're on the road to a million on this channel man we're gonna hit 15k pretty soon Thereafter, we're going to hit 50K pretty soon, man. We've been growing exponentially on this platform. I've um, been doing a lot of content. Music reactions will come later today, man. Uh, I've definitely been branching out with other reactions. So let me know other reaction videos that you guys would possibly like to see within the comment section below. If you join the stream while I'm actually reacting, be sure to hit the like button. If you join later on, uh, be sure to hit the like button and comment. But if you're watching while I'm reacting live right now, man, chat it up in the stream. Chat it up in the stream, man. Donate through Super Chat, whatever you feel like doing, man. Peace, love, prosperity to all. So with that being said, active self-protection. This channel is definitely educating. I do have a PD playlist where I previously reacted to a lot of police content. I'm more so going in the direction now with this content. So let's hop into this reaction, man, without further a dude like comment subscribe hit the notification bell let's get it so we have more proof that evil exists in our world let's just hop right into this i'm not too sure what direction this is gonna go but definitely an intriguing title to say the least Friends, there's simply no denying it. Some people are evil. Hi, everyone. This is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Pennsylvania. Shout out to this dude, John Correa, too, man. He's been, I don't know how long he's been associated with this channel or if, like, this was a startup. Just out of respect, dude, because I had seen a clip the other day, and it seems like, obviously, he's been doing this for several years. He had posted, like, a throwback clip on the channel. So, shout out to him, man. Just, like, his presentation is definitely on point. Obviously, I'm... I would guess that he's probably has some type of background or education within like self-protection or some type of um, special forces, possibly. I don't know. But shout out to him, man. Just his whole channel is awesome. If he's the founder of it, salute. If not, just the role he plays in all this, man. Salute, Mr. John Correa, man. Here we're going to see a man show the evil in his heart by attacking a man with cerebral palsy. And we're going to learn important lessons what? here about the dangers of being in a vulnerable population, about maintaining your distance, if at all possible. And we're just going to talk about why we carry firearms and other tools to protect ourselves from people whose hearts are evil. So we're going to see this guy pull up here and go read the news story. You can see the man in the car has cerebral palsy. And as he comes out, you can see it just barely a little bit in the way that he carries himself. And this guy in the orange jacket is going to make fun of him. Now, I don't know what it takes for... Whoa, this camera's kind of glitching. I don't know if y'all seen that on y'all's in. Somebody to... But dude's making fun of him off the bat. So I guess the evil in context, if you're just joining or don't even know or missed it, the gentleman who exited this Jeep vehicle right here has cerebral palsy. He's already entered the gas station or corner store, whatever establishment that is this is. But this gentleman right here is already mimicking him, acting goofy. Let's see what kind of plays out. Hopefully this... The visual clears up. Kind of stoop to this level of evil, but we do see it all the time. People make fun of others and they don't have any concern for what's going on in their world. Now, I've sped it up just a little bit here as our victim has gone into the place and gotten whatever he needed. Notice it's 2.30 in the morning and now the guy comes out and is making fun of him again and giving him a hard time. And, and our victim just standing there kind of doing nothing until the guy just wheels Are around. Are you kidding me, bro? Dude just hit Buddy for no reason. It's 2 in the morning, so you can already tell Buddy's probably, like, intoxicated, heavily intoxicated. The screen keeps glitching, so I'm not sure if you guys can see it as clear as I can. Um, but what? Let's see how this plays out. We got a bystander walking by here. And then some other gentleman playing in 
who's basically guilty by association by just associating and not doing nothing but drives that right hand right into him and what the heck is going on there and we could see our victim like wow man finally seeing the effects of that now this lady comes out here and it seems to me clearly knows this guy here in the black shirt because you know she's willing to get close to him or whatever pull her phone out but she's not okay seemingly with what happened to this man and now somebody else is going to come out they're going to go call the cops and thankfully the perp was actually caught here he ran off but they caught him and the perp ran off like a little woods like a little I'm not even going to be vulgar on here, but he punches Buddy and runs off. This dude, I don't know what you're doing, man. You lame. Buddy not doing nothing. He's just a bystander. And sometimes when you're a bystander, you just as guilty, bro. Because what is you even hanging around for? You know? You a lame. And the judge actually threw the book at him and gave him three to six years for this assault. And now our, our uh, victim is going to ride off, and this one ends right there. A couple of things I really want to think about out of this one. There are a couple of significant lessons. And number one here is the rules of stupid. If you pay attention, it's 2.31 in the morning. And remember the rules of stupid. You know, Farnham's law as amended. Don't go stupid places with stupid people at stupid times and do stupid things. And generally speaking, convenience stores are stupid places. So you can't go to one at 2.30 in the morning, friends. <laughs> I, I recognize that for some people that's good. That's pretty smart, though. He's right. Don't do stupid things with stupid people at stupid times of the hour in the stupid time or stupid mind frame. Dude said stupid a million times, but some people, you know, their capability at certain moments, certain areas, maybe certain amount of consumption where it's alcohol. They can't handle themselves, bro. It's going to be frustrating, but you can't go and break two rules of stupid. If you break one, you might have a problem. Hold up. Thing here is I think as I'm streaming I may actually be covering the video I don't know if I'm actually covering up where we're seeing but let's see if y'all can see that better buddy over here man look at this dude if you break two your chances of a problem go up significantly and our victim did break two here going to a convenience store in the middle of the night 2 30 in the morning when all the bars have let out and the drunks are out and i don't know if this guy was drunk in the moment or whatever number two is this guy comes back out you can see the guy making fun of him and so he, he kind of naively just stands there and watches the guy and and you notice here that our attacker has his dominant right hand back behind him he's bladed away from him and he's looking down those are all pre-attack indicators and as somebody, especially in a vulnerable population, you have to maintain your distance here. And you can see it took him forever to wind up and just drive his hand right into that guy's face. And, and that, that punch took forever to get there. Now, again, somebody with cerebral palsy, I'm not going to say should be a fighter, though I certainly would encourage. That punch took forever, which lets me believe, leads me on to believe, obviously, Buddy is intoxicated. He said, see how slow he threw that punch, y'all? anybody regardless of their physical disabilities to take some training so that they can maximize their own self-defense and of course attacking somebody Shall in a like vulnerable that? population like this just shows us the evil that's in some people's hearts but recognizing if you are in a vulnerable population that you need to maintain some distance and when somebody's making fun of you you got to maintain your space from them so they can't attack you is incredibly important so of course what happened to this man is incredibly heinous but recognize the people in your life or if you are in a vulnerable population you have a physical malady you've got a, a disability some kind of thing like that you're elderly or frankly women you have to be willing to take the steps necessary to maintain your space so that just absolute evil people like this can't victimize you thankfully our victim was not badly hurt and the perp is going to face some significant jail time for this but let's learn the lesson so it doesn't happen to us and instead we cover our asp. Let's cover our asp. But, bro, yeah, he needs to face significant jail time. No cap about that, man. I don't know if you guys were actually, geez, I put it way off board. <laughs> hey, all this is me getting familiarized with this platform. You see that? How I can, like, expand my screen and all that? I had it all the way out here. You guys wasn't able to, even able to see me. But sometimes I have it over here. And I'm completely in front of what's going on. So sometimes I need to kind of keep in mind where I'm streaming from or where the actual webcam is where I, when I'm actually going over these videos with you guys. But I don't know if you guys were able to see kind of what was going on there or if I was covering it up the whole time. But with that being said, man, a lot of times 
yeah, you're going to find people that do some reckless, crazy things. Um, this was kind of just a dude attacking somebody who was helpless, who wasn't able to defend themselves, essentially, in his life for no reason. You know, um, crazy stuff be going on, wild stuff be going on. But with that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fort Worth Fabian. We're on the road to a million on this channel, man. Peace, love, prosperity with everybody rocking with the content, the videos, the reactions as we grow. Um, continue to support me by engaging with the content, um, by, you know, watching my other videos, checking out my playlists. And definitely, you know, as always, turn on notifications and watching the content. You know what I mean? So we'll catch you guys in the next video, man. We out of here.